So today's Saturday, the weekend, so that means we're off to go look at some uh, land to potentially buy and build on. So off we go. All right, so we're actually looking at a place a little bit north of New Plymouth here in New Zealand. Uh, it's a place called Uranui. So uh, it's about 20, 29 k's north of New Plymouth where we're currently residing on the North Island of New Zealand. We're here, let's have a look. So it's uh, just over an acre and looks like Rebecca's has already done some friend. Rebecca's trying to be a sheep dog. Hello. Right, so that's a probable no. Is it a probable no, Rebecca? Yeah, just the <laughs> just the um, chicken farm is a bit of a chicken yeah. farm. But in another life, Rebecca's a sheep dog. Anyway. <laughs> Alright, so just heading home and we stopped in at uh, Dolly's Milk. This is where I go to get my raw milk next to all the little calves. So, uh, yeah, it's not organic, but it's a spray free, uh, low antibiotic use and all that sort of jazz. Um, but raw milk, fresh daily, one, one milk in a day. So, it's like the best milk you can get and it's really cheap. It's two dollars a litre, which is cheaper than the organic stuff in the supermarket. And that's junk, it's all pasteurized. So, pretty good, uh, pretty lucky to have this. Hey, so people often wonder what exactly do I do with my time? I'm self-employed, I work for myself and I work online, which is cool, but it's also a little bit lonely. Like I'm here in the house. I'm the only one here. Uh, so I thought I'd give you a bit of an insight into the life of a health coach slash blogger slash entrepreneur. So this is my office, check it out. It's a little bit messy. In fact, it's, it's quite messy, isn't it? So we've got the juve light over there. Uh, I don't really have any drawers, that's why there's stuff everywhere. Um, and I got my, my whiteboard pl planner down there, kettlebells. Uh, got my nice spongy mat, which is um, good for my feet. Stand up desk with the very desk, very desk, whatever you want to call it. Obviously I do a lot of writing and a lot of research and that's why there were so many books. Uh, you've probably seen my blog and my website. If you haven't, uh, check over, head over to my site. That's me, a few years ago. Um, so obviously do a lot of writing and a lot of work on uh, these blogs, so that takes up a lot of my time. Um, I do have a bit of a team. I have a, a very good friend and, and virtual assistant named Bruno who lives in Croatia, so I do a lot of chatting to him and videos to him. Um, yeah, and then emails. Emails is a big part of my day, so I uh, thought I'd just show you a few few quick emails and, and, and what I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis. So here we go, someone writing in, uh, low testosterone would like to lose a bit of weight. Shooting off emails, I told them to check out my uh, my video on the secrets to health and, and fitness and fat loss. Someone who had a back injury, looking to put on some, uh, inc improve their physical fitness and lose a bit of weight. I told them to check out super slow training, given the injury. I try and write based on these articles, uh, these questions coming in. So, you know, if someone, if, if I start getting the same question over and over again, then I know it's a good article to write about. Um, though I did just get this email, which is, which is really nice. Someone who was on my sleep course, and yeah, I know this sounds like a bit of a, a, a promotion pitch here, but this is, uh, it kind of made my day seeing this. So someone who had been struggling with sleep and then, uh, you know, they found that they changed their, it changed their life. And uh, she's actually writing a book and she wants to mention me and my sleep program in, in, in the book. So, and again, I don't mean that to be like a, a sales pitch or anything like that. Yeah, you know, that's a bit of an insight. If you have any questions around my office and and the setup um all questions about health obviously feel free to yell out i'm back to go and clear out a few more emails Bye. hey so i'm going to do my book review from in front of the juice panel today uh, I've been doing a lot of reading here in the morning as i'm as i'm working through the, the rounds getting my red light fix on so what am i reading Another Gary V book, Gary Vaynerchuk, I think that's how you say his name. It's just his Ask Gary V book. It's based on his YouTube channel, which I have actually never seen, um, but I might have to subscribe. Big improvement from, at least for me, from the book I read last week, which was his uh, Jab, Jab, Right Hook book. 
Um, that was more of a template for how to post on social media. This is just a bunch of questions on you know, marketing, parenting, business, hustling, storytelling, all sorts of stuff. Um, really simple to read because you literally just open it up and there's a quick Q and answer type thing and that's what the whole book's about. Um, I don't necessarily believe or align myself with all of his thoughts. You know, he's all about just go, 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 push, push, push. Um, I personally want a bit more of a balance and I'm happy to sacrifice some business success for family success, right? Because everyone's definition of success is different. I'm enjoying this one. I am getting a lot of takeaways from it. The main thing for me is the, the social media marketing insight, which is what I actually really struggle with and have always distanced myself from. Um, and so this vlog, for instance, is another way for me to get into that social media world. Speaking of which, please let me know uh, your thoughts and feedback on this. Again, like I know I sort of brought it up in previous videos, but this is all a big uh, experiment for me. I just want to do a few weeks to see what the reaction's like. Uh, if there's something you'd like to see more of, let me know. If you want to see more training, more, more food, more books, whatever, let me know. If there's something you want to see less of, you know, you don't care about these book reviews, just please let me know. Oh, and that is my Juve timer, so I'm now gonna switch sides and do a few minutes over here. Yeah, and if you are enjoying them, hit the subscribe, hit the like, share them, leave a comment or something, so at least I, I, I know people are watching them. So, yeah, that's my book of the week, and that's my comments for this week's uh, vlog. All right, see you guys next time. I'm gonna finish up here. Morning world. So it's another beautiful day in paradise here in New Plymouth. Another great day. It's meant to be summer soon, which is crazy. Um, just heading down to the shops, to the supermarket, unfortunately. Try not to go there too often. Uh, try to source our veggies from our own garden or farmers markets and stuff. But unfortunately, our zucchinis haven't grown yet, and um, we need some carrots and some water as well. Rebecca's going to make uh, spaghetti bolognese tonight. So those are the uh, those, those were on the shopping list. So just heading down to get that. I was just looking at my aura ring data from my sleep last night. Feeling pretty good today. Uh, slept for eight and a half hours. 21% <clears throat> of that was deep sleep. 30% REM sleep. 45% light. And then check this out. Only 3% awake time. How cool is that? Yep. There it is. Our local supermarket. had to ask. Projects. Rebecca will be happy. Got my water and far too many groceries. So much for just going in for like two or three things. Always happens, doesn't it? And yes, I got ice cream. Sue me. Um, but yeah, now I'm outside and of course it's raining. Don't ever come to New Zealand for the weather. It's horrible. Beautiful country, the weather just sucks. Got my shower in for the day, but uh, better news, I got supplements. Let's go see what I got. All right, let's see what supplements I got. Kelp noodles, will be good for bag bowl tonight. Magnesium, turkey tan, vitamin C, and then more kelp noodles, that's it. Hey, so in that previous video, someone asked me like why I, was, why I was gardening, you know, why I was planting all these seedlings out. And no, gardening's not a big hobby of mine. I mean, it's slowly becoming a bit of an interest, but uh, it's, it's all about health. I mean, health and control. Okay, so, you know, obviously I'm into health. It's what I do. Uh, and the more I learn about food and, and um, you know, the way food's growing and, and what we're eating, the more I realize, you know, like to be able to control your food source is so important. It's crazy. I mean, now that I see all this and I see how you can grow your own food and save so much money, it's, I, I hate spending money on, on food. Now. Anyway, that's, that's why I'm getting into the gardening. That's why I'm trying to grow more food. It's control. It's money savings. Um, it's being a little bit more independent and self-reliant and not relying on big supermarkets and everything uh and it is becoming a bit of an interest and a hobby like it's it's a challenge right like there's so much i don't know and i've already made mistakes in the garden and it's like oh well i want to fix it you know 
So that's why I'm gardening. And uh, if, you, if you have tips, by the way, let me know because no doubt I'm going to make a lot more of a lot more uh, mistakes on on film as well. So you guys are probably the professional or the more advanced gardeners out there are probably laughing at themselves. But hopefully that gives you a bit of insight as to why the gardening and um, you know the the food, growing my own food and all that is, is coming into these films. It's it's all about control. You know, just having control over my health, the health and my body, and of course my partners and then my kids when we have kids hopefully soon so yeah hope that makes sense so it's finally stopped raining so i thought it'd be a good time to uh do a quick garden update so remember those potatoes are planted a few weeks ago you can see these ones are coming up pretty good so these ones filling it but you might recall i got some other potatoes um from the nursery and um, I died, like totally just died. I don't really know what happened. Pretty much from the moment we got them, they just started suffering. So I topped up the soil, put some extra compost in there, was watering them. Uh, I thought it might have been the heat, you know, because it was on the concrete next to the bricks. I thought it might have been too hot. Put them on the lawns, but yeah, they just, they just died. So um, I'm gonna go in and see how big the potatoes are. Uh, and <clears throat> hopefully they're big enough to eat. Otherwise, I did notice that uh, we've got a little new growth coming through, so I don't know. I don't know, maybe if you know, you can tell me what I did wrong. But uh, at least the other ones are going pretty good. Got a few decent sized ones, so not too bad at, after all. That's what I got out of there. So, uh, yeah, pretty pretty happy with that. Some smaller ones in there, but also check out this puppy. Look at the size of that one. Monster. It's bordering snake material. Oh, and come check this out. I thought I noticed this this morning. There's a little baby zucchini coming through. He'll be our first zucchini for the season. So I've had a really bad week for bugs and insects. We uh, we went away a week or two ago, came back and um, noticed a lot of itchy bites. Rebecca was waking up with uh, itchy bites on her ankle and then I started getting a few and then uh, one morning I was on, on the floor doing my morning stretches and yeah, I noticed a flea on me. I was like, what the hell, we got bloody fleas? Where did these come from? You know, everyone's like, oh, just go get a flea bomb and, and leave the house for a few hours. I'm like, I can't do that. I mean, God knows what, what chemicals are in there. Anyway, it's been a week now and we haven't seen any and Rebecca hasn't had any bites, but we ended up, well, I ended up uh, washing the sheets and the mattress, or not the mattress, the uh, blankets, pillowcases and everything like that uh, every three or four days. And then I vacuumed twice a day for about eight days now they seem to be gone but that's not the only problem we've actually we've actually started to get a lot of flies lately so i've ended up being uh turning to more um alternative methods to kill them which involves my t-shirt and some uh some pretty quick flicks so i don't know maybe if you've got solutions for, for getting rid of flies and, and even fleas drop a comment in the in the notes below yeah life gets hard when you when you try and avoid the chemicals huh two three Four. Now I've got to go vacuum again now. I got a new blender. So if you're wondering why I got a new blender, when I have my trusty blender over here, uh, because this is plus, and this is plastic. Now, as we all know, plastic can make us fat. And if you didn't know that, you should check out my blog, How Toxins Are Making You Fat. Like many of us, I'm on a budget, and I can't go out and buy everything that I want. And this blender was working, so you know, you know, I was just like, whatever, I'll just deal with it. When the time comes, I have some cash, I'll upgrade. And that's what I'm doing. And in fact, this one started like smoking the other day as well, so I was like, it's definitely time for upgrade. So, you know, I think it's it's a good way to approach health. You know, don't expect everything to be perfect overnight, but you know, when something dies or breaks, upgrade it and get the healthier version. So I'm gonna go make a smoothie. So time of the week, training time. It's already late on Friday and um, I just want to switch off. So really quick workout today. Uh, I'm going to do a bit of a circuit 
strength circuit, I guess. Uh, we're gonna go deadlifts, into clap push-ups, into weighted chins, into Turkish, Turkish get-ups. And what I'm gonna do is uh, the weight's just gonna get heavier and heavier, and the reps are gonna go down. Uh, you know, maybe I'll start with, say, I don't know, 10 each side, 10, 10 deadlifts, 10 clap push-ups, 10 weighted chins, 10 Turkish get-ups each side, and um, weights will go up, it'll get harder and harder, reps go down, last round, maybe doing, I don't know, three to five, uh, probably do four rounds, and that's it.